Hi everyone, we are so excited for our very first webinar in a series of webinars being presented by our team of experts here at Emerge. Today is uh, going to cover interactive metronome with Brooke Breeze, our clinical director who's right across from me. Um, but before we do that, I just wanted to welcome everyone and uh, make sure that we thank our sponsors who helped make this possible. So we partnered with other local businesses, other community partners um, who wanted to support our mission of informing the community um, and frankly, jump at supporting Emerge anytime that they can. So we wanted to be sure to show them some love. Um, Goldfish Swim School in Cary and Chapel Hill um, wanted to support us. They do so much for building confidence in kids through swimming, um, swim lessons, team building, et cetera. Um, and we're grateful for their partnership. Holman Family Dental, um, they are a dental office in Chapel Hill. Um, Dr. Shana Holman is the um, owner and uh, like lead dentist there. And they're also great partners for us, especially when it comes to things like tongue ties and torticollis and um, referring for speech therapy and, and making sure that um, kids are growing up confident um, through those avenues as well. Robbie Norris Farm Bureau. Um, Robbie Norris has been in the Chapel Hill community for, I think, more than two decades. He is a fabulous community partner, deeply invested in Chapel Hill, Carborough, Durham, Pittsburgh, Hillsboro, all of our neighbors, um, and we are grateful for his partnership. And then our friends at Chapel Hill Media Group, so 97.9 The Hill on the radio and chapelboro.com. They are, this area is really only um, source for hyper-local uh, daily news. We've been partnered with them for a long time through advertising and community education, and um, we're just real grateful for them, and they helped us get the word out. So if whether you're watching this live or you're watching this on a recording, these are the sponsors that have helped make this possible, and we are very grateful for them. So I'm going to hand it over to Brooke, and we are going to get started. All right. Thanks, Allie. It's really great to be here today. Uh, I just want to introduce myself first. Um, I am Brooke Breeze. I'm the clinical director here at Emerge, and I have been with the company since 2013. I graduated from a small school on the west side of Michigan, Grand Valley State University, with my master's in OT back in uh, 2012. And I started my practice as an early intervention specialist with the CDSA in Wake, with Wake County. So I quickly realized I wanted to be part of a more collaborative clinic. So I found myself here at Emerge and have made it my home ever since. So it's been really a great opportunity to watch Emerge grow and change over the last um, you know, 11 years that I've been with the company. So I do hold certification in interactive metronome as well as a um, smaller certificate certification with um, their pediatric course. So I also have some trainings in sensory integration through USC, reflex integration, DIR floor time, the brushing protocol, therapeutic listening, zones of regulation alert program, um, SOS approach to feeding, and have started doing a lot of work with Learn, Play, Thrive to support our journey being neurodiversity affirming and understanding um, best practices to approach autism. So I am currently, like I said, serving as the clinical director here at Emerge, and I help to support uh, managing the clinical teams across our all three of our locations now. I'm also a wife and a mom of two. I've got a six-year-old son and a three-year-old daughter, so that really helps um, further guide my understanding of being a provider in the pediatric uh, sector of OT. All right, so who is Emerge? So Emerge was founded back in 2001 by Bonnie Hacker, who um, is also an occupational therapist. And the company was acquired by our current owner um, fully back in 2018. So we currently provide pediatric OT, speech, and PT across our three locations. Um, Durham being our largest clinic, um, and then Cary and Carborough. So IM is offered at our Durham and our Carborough location. So we'll talk a little bit more about what it looks like to get started um, with receiving IM as we get going. Um, but right now, the equipment that we have is in Carborough and Durham. So we are going to discuss um, the following objectives. What is interactive metronome? who can benefit from IM, 
what does some of the research tell us and then how are clinicians using um, IM at eMERGE? So interactive metronome, it's an evidence-based assessment and training tool that helps measure and improve neurotiming or the synchronization of neural impu impulses within key brain networks for cognitive, communicative, sensory, and motor performance. So it's a really fancy way of saying we are working on timing through the use of a really cool gaming device. Um, here's a, a little snapshot from the interactive metronome um, website. And that website is really the best resource for learning more about IM and understanding um, its the theoretical backgrounds. But here you can see um, we have our main station box. We have the triggering devices. There's one for hands for clapping as well as um, for foot tapping the headphones that the client would wear. And then in the background there, you can see a little bit of a screenshot of some games that are are there. And it's really cool because the program allows the participant to receive real-time visual and auditory feedback on their accuracy of, um, of the beats that they are hitting. Here you can see another slide of some examples of games. There's aliens, a little picnic, we have a fairy garden, a monkey climbing a banana tree, soccer and basketball. So there's some really cool options to help tap into a variety of interests that our clients may have because that is one of our, our big um, practices that we do here is we want to meet the children or adults that we're working with where they're at, tap into their interests, because if we're able to tap into their interests, we're likely going to have better participation. So I am is working on that neural timing and timing is so fundamental to everything we do as humans. You can think about athletes, musicians, walking down the street, um, having a conversation uh, smoothly. All of those things are um, helped and supported by the timing that's taking place within the neural um, networks within our brain. So IM can help to address a wide variety of areas. Here, um, we talk about attention, processing speed, uh, motor coordination, self-regulation. Um, it's a really great tool in our toolboxes as therapists because we are able to uh, work on a wide variety of skills with a wide variety of kids um, with one common tool that we're able to kind of cart around um, in the clinic. So individuals from all aids can benefit from IM and it's a very adaptable program. So there are clinicians working with children as young as infants up until, you know, we've see I am um, in skilled nursing facilities, working with the elderly. And then we're also doing um, I am with athletes or children that have um, reading or communication difficulties. At Emerge, we're seeing, um, you know, a wide variety of different diagnoses, um, things like ADHD, autism, learning disabilities, speech language disorders, sensory processing disorders as well as athletes, but really the program is so adaptable that we, the sky's the limit and really who we can help. And I even found my own, um, when I went through my training, my cursive handwriting improved. It became a lot more automatic and uh, smooth, which I found to be such an interesting kind of overflow effect because, you know, when you do the training, you have to go through all the different exercises and there's, you know, multiple hours of practice um, that goes into learning the system. So it's just really cool to see firsthand that there can be results pretty quickly from um, doing even just a little bit of IM intervention. So what do some of the research say? Um, there are studies that um, look at ADHD. So this particular study from 2001 um, discussed 56 preteen boys diagnosed with ADHD, and they found that those using IMs st showed statistically significant improvement in attention and concentration, motor coordination, language processing, reading, and math fluency, and the ability to control impulsivity. So um, this is a really cool piece of research that helps support our ability to help 
particularly the school age group of children who, you know, school is the occupation of, of these kids. And there are so many different higher level skills that go into helping a child successfully get through their school day. So to have an intervention like this, you know, show improvements in multiple different areas is really, really beneficial. Uh, this study from 2007 uh, discussed um, in the Journal for Psychology in Schools that children completing a training program with IM achieved accelerated reading outcomes. This is particularly exciting too because you know we do offer reading therapy here at Emerge, and sometimes, as all therapy services um, may find, you know, depending on how long you've been receiving services, you know, a child may reach a plateau um, and things, um, you know, we're, we've hit a slump and we're not quite sure how to modify what we're doing to provide continued success for the child. So this is another tool in our toolbox and our reading therapist um, is um, just about uh, certified NIM. So this will be a new feature to the reading services that we offer at Emerge, um, you know, to be able to provide during the sessions. And then this particular study from 2002 discussed timing and child development. So a study of 585 children found significant correlations between the student's mental timing as measured by IM and their academic performance in reading, math, language, science, social studies, and personal study skills. So this study really showed us that brain timing plays a foundational role in a child's academic performance. So what does IM look like at Emerge? So we have a handful of therapists that are certified and they are using IM very much as a tool in their toolbox. So what this means is many of the kids that IM is being used with, it's being incorporated into their weekly um, occupational therapy sessions. It's not necessarily an additional service that, that they are receiving. Um, and it's that way we're able to get the boast of the best of both worlds. You know, the children are able to work on other goals in their plan of care as well as incorporate IM to work on, you know, things such as attention, coordination, improved handwriting um, through the use of a pretty motivating gaming device. Um, however, with that said, we can also execute um, IM through an intensive program, and we'll talk a little bit more about what the specifics of that are in a few minutes. And then it can also be further adapted as home programming exercises without the use of equipment. So our trained clinicians are able to provide um, ideas and tasks and exercises that families can try and execute at home, and it doesn't require the um, equipment that we have here in the clinic, which helps really make it, um, it more accessible. So the general progression of IM skills is gonna start with um, a introduction to the equipment, as well as some pretty basic exercises. So the child is working on mastering basic skills initially. So they are going to be clapping or tapping while wearing the headphones and hearing the, the beat of a metronome. And if they are accurate, they hear a, a, a little chime, but if they are either too slow or too fast, they're going to hear some little quirky sounds like a rubber band snapping. And those are some internal um, auditory cues to help the child learn to adjust. You know, if they're hearing something in their right ear, they need to slow down. If they're hearing something in their left ear, they need to speed up. And additionally to that, there on the screen, there is a blinking emblem that is visual input. So it's going to blink again on the right side, accurate in the middle or on the left side, depending if we are going too fast and too slow. So as the child is becoming successful using both those auditory and visual cues and their scores are becoming more and more average, if not better than that, we are going to start to incorporate cognitive activities and we take away that visual cue of the blinking emblem and they're just going to have to rely on those internal um, auditory cues coming through the headphones. Um, 
So some activities that I really loved including into um, these cognitive tasks included playing just a basic board game, working on handwriting skills. So perhaps we have a handwriting goal and while they are working on an exercise for line placement or learning some new cursive letters, the foot pad is under their desk and they are having to keep the beat with their toes while they are writing. So they're having to divide their attention there. So that's, you know, tapping into attention and executive function skills. Um, we could also read out loud, maintain a basic conversation. This pick the picture on the right of the screen there with the words um, written in different colors is one of my favorite. We had this type of idea created in um, using shapes as well. So we would have to say, you know, it would be a yellow circle, but you instead of saying, you know, you either have to say yellow or circle or using this word example here. So it's just a fun way to kind of make things a little bit more um, challenging for the child to really help work on those timing skills. Are we able to do um, some more distracting, challenging tasks while also executing the tasks of IM? So like I said before, we're often incorporating um, IM into one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions. So at Emerge, we are a sensory clinic. Most of the kids that are coming to us for occupational therapy are here for, um, you know, some type of sensory processing differences. So we are, those kids are spending time in the sensory gym and getting a lot of nice structured sensory input. So they are helping their self-regulation get to that more just right state. So they are able to participate in a uh, more challenging activity. And then, you know, we're going to talk about um, learning how to use the equipment, try some simple things, and ultimately build up to doing about 15 to 30 minutes of the tapping and clapping motions using the sensors um, during that individual one-on-one um, -on -one 60 minute session. And then the intensives I mentioned before. So repetition truly is vital for success with IM, and it should ideally be performed um, for a minimum of 30 minutes uh, per session for about three weeks. So an intensive at Emerge, we would do 45 minute sessions three times per week for about four or five weeks to um, work on improving the timing skills of the child. And as that intensive progresses, we are gonna be incorporating more complex activities to what they're doing. <clears throat> So another creative way Emerge has utilized IM before is for improving athletic performance. So we have completed a handful of intensives for um, you know, middle school and high school kids who are in sports that want to work on improved attention and concentration, better bilateral coordination, improve motor skills, improve balance, faster processing speed, or quicker reaction time. And um, we have seen some nice success with this intervention where the client reported that he felt a lot more coordinated and more tuned in to, um, you know, his sports that, that he was playing. And this particular child, um, you know, also had received um, some IM earlier um, in his life for uh, handwriting and things like that. So they had already, the family had already seen some some nice ways that I am was successful. So they tried it in a bit of an out of the box manner and continued to see the really nice results. So I've got a little video here for us to watch real quick. Um, but home programming is another way that we can incorporate I am to a child's plan of care through simple games like hand clapping, dribbling or kicking a ball, um, clapping to the beat of a song are just really easy ways. So here's a quick little video for an example of that. Ready, watch me. Okay. Good job, all. Triple up. In. Four, 
All right, so that was a nice example of a clapping game that's working on sustained attention, bilateral coordination, um, and keeping our body in space, um, you know, being, being with a group. So there's a lot of really fun creative activities that an OT would be able to provide families. Um, you could also something as simple as um, a Zoom ball. It's a game where you have two handles and have a football and a string and you open and close the strings to make the ball go back and forth. And, you know, you trying to keep a certain beat and you can go, through, you know, saying the alphabet back and forth, naming different types of animals. So there's lots of different ways that we can incorporate bilateral coordination activities in with cognitive tasks that support timing and keeping um, everything smoothly moving. Ready, watch me. All right, so if you are interested in getting started with Interactive Metronome, the best way to do this is to submit an initial inquiry on our website. We have a QR code here for you. Um, it's also under the Get Started portion of our website. But in that uh, inquiry form, you're going to have an option to select Interactive Metronome, and you would get then connected with Allie to discuss your options. You know, if you are already receiving IM, or excuse me, already receiving occupational therapy and um, are interested in some IM, definitely uh, speak to your therapist and we can see if we're able to incorporate that into your child's care. Awesome. Thank you. I forgot to say in the beginning that if you had any questions, you could use the hand raise option, but we're going to have some extra time. So if you do have a question, feel free to use the hand raise option in Zoom and we will get your question via chat. Brooke, thank you so much. I love learning about I am. I, it's so fun to see um, just something that feels like a fun game being mm -hmm. played that's actually helping kids in so many different ways. Um, I did want to share the remainder of our webinar schedule. Um, today is the first one with Brooke, um, and this will be available um, to re-watch, um, and we will send it to everyone who registered. Um, so you can watch it as many times as you would like, and Brooke did a great job. I know I'm going to watch it again, um, but we do have some other great topics coming up. So these are going to be on Thursdays for the next several weeks, actually from now until Thanksgiving. Um, so next week, we have floor time coaching with Andrew following week, we have sensory-based consulting with Jessica, Taskmasters with Brittany. Brittany is actually um, Emerge's owner and executive director that Brooke mentioned in the beginning. Um, she is leading a new program called Taskmasters. It's really awesome. Um, one of our therapists in Carboro, Gwen, she is going to lead a webinar on feeding therapy. And then one of our Durham therapists, Laura, is going to round us out with two uh, webinars at the end on our Emerge clubs, which are fabulous programs here and um, reading therapy um, that I think Brooke mentioned also. So a lot of these things work really well together. Um, and I know our therapists are always collaborating and connecting on how they can take their strengths and support each other and maybe bring more than one thing into treatment. So it's definitely beneficial to kind of dip your toe into a lot of these learning opportunities. Um, so we invite you to any and all of these that sound interesting. You can see the QR code there to get back to that registration page. But um, did want to just see real quick, we are going to finish early. Um, but if anyone had any questions, um, we would love to answer them. Brooke put her contact information here. Um, Brittany's is also here. And if you want mine, my name is Allie. It's just A-L-I, like on the screen, at Emerge Peds. Um, and you can reach out and Brooke can answer a lot more of your questions than I can, but <laughs> I can get you in touch with the right people to answer them as well. So um, thank you guys so much for being here. I'm not seeing any hands go up. So we'll give it just a couple of minutes. Um, and this was great. Brooke, yeah. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I got to watch it live across the table. It was uh, wonderful and informative. Um, oh, and free lunch. We would like to give Christus. I will email you. Um, you are going to get a Jersey Mike's gift card. So thanks so much for being here um, for this lunch and learn opportunity. I hope to see you guys again at some of our other webinars. And um, I think that wraps it up. Cool. Thanks so much, everyone. Thank we'll see you soon.